Welcome to Battle Truth, in my point of view. I don't know you, so I'm not a hater. I can only give you the facts that's written on these papers. And since we have no dealings, therefore the court can care the less about your feelings. I'm the Honorable Malachi Markilli, your presiding judge, chairman and spokesperson for the One United Front. You are my witnesses and jury. You may be seated. Court is now in session. Today we're going to look into, man, Jay-Z, man, took the Van Jones show, man, speaking upon his relationship and fighting for his marriage <laughs> and want to now publicly come out talking about it, you know, and let us in on what we didn't know about. Who didn't, who didn't know you was a cheater, Jay-Z? <laughs> like, really? Really? What community of people believe he wasn't the cheater? He was a cheater for a matter. He a cheater while he with her. He gonna be a cheater. <laughs> That's what he does. I don't expect no loyalty out of this man. This man openly out of his mouth confessed to not even believe in God. This man literally disrespects Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior of the world. So... You think he going to be loyal and committed to a person when he can't even serve his rightfully duty obligation to God himself? <laughs> man, people crazy. <laughs> this man said some stuff on this show. Let me just show y'all what this man said on this show. Okay. He said him and Beyonce never, he said people say we a celebrity couple. We never was a celebrity couple. We were a couple who happened to be celebrities. Well, I challenge that, Jay-Z. I think that that's a lie. Did you know her before she was uh, popular? Did you know her before she put an album out? <laughs> did you know her before that? When did she become your woman? <laughs> Well, you definitely a celebrity couple. <laughs> That's exactly what that is. Did you grow up with her? <laughs> did y'all struggle together? <laughs> How much did you have in the bank when you met her? How much did she have? Man, y'all definitely was a celebrity couple. That's what it is. Welcome to Hollywood. <laughs> then he said... Then he was asked by Van Jones. Okay, you 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 said you you feel sorry for what you did. You want to fight for your family and your marriage. If the shoe was on the other foot, do you think you would have been able to be as forgiven to her as she is to you? He said, "I will hope so. I pray I would." Wait, wait. You pray you would. <laughs> You don't believe in God. You don't believe in God so much, you named yourself God. He named himself Jehovah. Well, Hova, which is short for Jehovah. But he said, I'm the God of the music industry. No, you don't say that when you mention in your name Hova on these records. When you saying your name over on these records, you literally trying to take the place of God. You pose as though you as God. You usher and bring people in as though you are uh, uh, the enlightened person to God, uh, uh, of who God is to other people. No, no, Jay-Z. No, come on, fam. Um, you wouldn't have been forgiven as that woman was to you. Let's just be honest. If that girl... If, if Beyonce was in a, caught up in an affair with Gucci, man, <laughs> that house would never be quiet. <laughs> you would never get no sleep. She, you, the fight on the elevator. <laughs> you think you were getting kicked in that elevator, man. <laughs> I'm going to keep it real. Jay-Z would Jay -Z would catch a case. If Jay-Z find out Beyonce is having an affair with Gucci Man, Gucci Man, Kodak Black, Takashi 69, 
<laughs> if he found that out, that man going to jail, man. I'm keeping it real. Everybody get this. <laughs> Talking about he would have been forgiven. He wouldn't have been. He wouldn't have been. He would. He would have been loving. Cause he still gonna love her the same. Man, you ain't gonna. You ain't gonna never. Wait, baby, I'm doing the showstopper. First time the showstopper make her entrance on Battle True. One you up. Come on, raise it down. I don't want you up. You know Jay Z ain't gonna be that loving and forgiving toward Beyonce if she getting if she getting down with uh, Offset now. <laughs> Talking about he'll love her the same. He'll be thinking about everything they done. <laughs> Talking about lemonade at four forty four. If he gotta get some effing vodka. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no lemon, ain't no cold drink. The lemonade gonna help that situation. <laughs> so with that being said, let's go to the other thing he said. Then the dude end the situation like this. He said, "If you," he said, uh, "He said one of the guests asked me to ask you this. Ask him this before he leave. Is he in the Illuminati?" He began to laugh and say, I'm not in the Illuminati. I'm in a new Illuminati. No, he didn't say he wasn't in the Illuminati because that's what raised my attention. He didn't never say no. He said, I'm in the new Illuminati, but they laughing like it's a joke. He never once said no. He never once said no. He just laughed like it was a joke and said, I'm in the new Illuminati. Come on, Ellie. I'm almost done, baby. So why would he do that? Stop. So why would he do that? Why would he say, <laughs> why would he say he, <laughs> he in the new Illuminati? That was a joke, but that's actually true out of his own mouth. It's upgraded. See, when the Illuminati began back in the back in like the <coughs> back in the days of when when they were talking about the independence day and Things like that. It, of course it was a secret society. But in this day and age of social media and computer explosion, things like that, what happens is you can't cover it no more. So rather than making it a secret society, what you do is make it popular so it can be accepted by the people. You take the favorite entertainers and musicians and people who they like, and once you make them a part of it, then it don't seem like it's so shifty and grimy and dirty because these known figures who have influences over the masses is a part of it. What happens is who masses and... and, and, and <laughs> who have influence over the masses, what happens is they make it popular so it can be acceptable by saying like, see he in it, see he in it, see he in it, see he in it. If they in it, and look how they enjoying themselves. Look at all the money they got. See, they show you the lifestyle and glory of it, but they don't show you the horrors and dark darks and, 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 and the things that take place behind closed doors of it. They don't, they don't, they don't show them parts. You know what I'm saying? They show those other parts that make you think that it's all good and it's all nice and all love like that because you see them kicking it with each other. So he say he in the new Illuminati, the upgraded one. <laughs> then they asked him a question. No, no. Then he said something about his, his wife and his mother, both of them real strong, and they fight for that number one spot. Here's some advice for people out there. And, and, and this is something a lot of people... Uh, need to learn when they're getting into uh, their marriages and relationships. Cut. Separate your spouse and your uh, your woman or man from your family. Separate the two. Never let the two intertwine with each other. Always separate who you're dealing with from your family. They can know them and, hey, how you doing? Have it just cordial like that. But they should yeah. never be bumping heads with each other. Your, your wife and your woman shouldn't be bumping heads. A baby mama shouldn't be bumping heads with your mother, your sisters, your cousins and aunties. No, you should, you should, 
You, when it comes to them things, you should be in control of your own family. Just like she should be in control of her own family. They should never intertwine with each other. A mother is a mother that loves me differently than I love the woman who I'm actually dealing with. So always, so always separate, always separate who you dealing with from your family. Never let them bump heads, man. Separate to always separate your immediate family. What I mean by that is the one who you land with, who, who have your children and who you in a relationship with, your wife. Always separate them from your uh, family. Always. Family and friends. Always. That's private. When you running your home, your home is supposed to just be run up under that order. She needs to feel she's the queen of that domain. And you as a man and king of that domain have to make her feel comfortable like she have that right. And nobody could deprive her of that right. And you and you as a man, it's your job to protect her honor and dignity. So never let your family bump heads with who you dealing with. And women, never let your family bump heads with the uh, man who you dealing with. You have to separate family from relationships, period. I mean, I had that problem where uh, the girls I'm dealing with, now my sisters and them, they all trying to fight and cousins and that. No, 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 no. That's tacky, ghetto. So separate the two. And men have to step up to the plate and stand on that and never compromise that position and situation. So... Oh no, man. I mean, we ain't surprised that what Jay Z doing, man, laying down with all these girls and acting like he feels sorry now since he need a hit. <laughs> he need a hit, and now you want to come out and tell all the secrets. Like, guess what I've been doing? I'm expecting for you to say something else. <laughs> I'm expecting for this brother to say he probably got a heroin addiction. Uh, he brought. He didn't have a, a bowl of crack. <laughs> you ain't told us nothing we don't know talking about. I had an affair. Which one? <laughs> you ain't telling everything. <laughs> he only telling what everybody else know. I ain't gonna tell him about I ain't gonna tell him about Keisha and Naomi them. I'm just gonna tell her about Becky. <laughs> Becky with the good hair and have some lemonade. <laughs> Man, please tell it all. <laughs> With that being said, this is battle truth. It ain't my judgment that's some questions. It's yours. Subscribe to battle truth, y'all. <laughs> no, the channel changed. Subscribe to battle truth one uf. Subscribe to battle truth one uf. And this your boy battle truth. It ain't my job, that's a question. It's your, hello? Who is that, smack? <laughs> Get off my phone, smack! <laughs>